Welcome everyone to this new tutorial and in this and in the following ones I will concentrate on a book called Getting to Know ArcGIS Desktop. It was released uh, by the Astro Press and I think you can order it online or maybe you will find it in your library with the data CD as well. So you should go through the exercises one and two very easily because well A they are just I think 21 pages and so we will start with page number 22 in this exercise called 3a you will get to know how to edit layers very easily you will change the order of your layers in your data so what is a layer it's more or less just an, um, a layer of information which can be presented by a raster or a shapefile uh, a raster file or a shapefile so we will start with first exercise therefore file open we are in the ArcGIS tutorial and chapter number 303. So we will start now with, I think, four layers. It just takes, takes some time. So this is the area we are talking about. It's a world map and there are coordinates behind that. You can easily find out which coordinate system belongs to that um, um, belongs to that exercise or to that um, set of layers. So go to properties in layers. Now well, where there is world plate curry. Well, quite un... Um, I don't know that as well so we will stick with that but first of all as you may know if you're changing the visibility of the layers there's a thing called flight path which is a line shapefile represented by that line and you will have some thing like cities it's a point shapefile represented by points and if you see if you're using the flight path and it's located over the cities um, you will have a problem because, well, you cannot see the cities quite well. So it's often often use or useful to change the location of points in the upper part of your project, then layers with lines, and after that um, polygons, which is in this case countries, and after polygons use um, the uh, raster files. So. There, uh, this graticle is also, um, I think, a polygon shape file. You can easily find out that properties, general source selection, symbology. Well, it is a point shape file. We can go to lake, which is quite not that good. <laughs> As you may see, so we can also change it like this. Use hollow once again. Fill color, outline color is black. That's fine for the moment. So this is a project we are talking about. And first of all, this is a route um, Miss Earhart took with her with her plane, I think. So what we will do now, we will change a layer's name, which is layer name cities, and we will go to the properties of that layer. There you have something called general and we will fill it out with a different name we say cities Erhard visited write everything great uh, in upper cases so say okay and what you can find out is now there's a name for each city so this is Darwin and she was stopping probably in Le and she was flying over Miami as well. So then you can easily use the zoom function. It is called zoom in, zoom out. Then you have a fixed zoom in, a fixed zoom out, and you can uh, adjust the extent. So go to the back, to the previous extent, and to the next extent. So we'll zoom in now. Go here into detail. And going back to that, change to the last extent. So once again, and then there's this function or this um, symbol that, that say go to the full extent of a project. 
by pressing that every layer is visible so this is once for it so I think we are nearly through that chapter there's one more function which is called the pan function you can easily use that by dragging around your working area so let's go into detail back once more go there here we are so what we will do now is we will use uh, the labeling function which is also represented in the properties but you can also just use that one label features now you have the every city's name um, presented but what you can do as well you can identify one feature by the identify function represented by this bl uh, blue spot and with the eye in the middle so go there there you have cities Erhard visited which is the city name is Gao and it's a capital no it's not a capital but we will have a precipitation value and an arri arrival and a departure date for that so that's it what can we do next I think that's that's it for the moment for the um, project or for the exercise 3a we'll go back to the full extent there you are so everything is fine in the moment we will now save it so file save we will just save the project uh, so the current extent and the current um, changes of representation of the of the shape files and so on is uh, saved so file oh no we have saved it as an original one we will s choose save as so this is now result something like that so save it there we are finished with exercise 3a